I am now convinced that as many as 10 civilians, including up to seven children, were tragically killed in that strike. Moreover, we now assess that it is unlikely that the vehicle and those who died were associated with ISIS-K or were a direct threat to US forces. I offer my profound condolences to the family and friends of those who were killed. This strike was taken in the earnest belief that it would prevent an imminent threat to our forces and the evacuees at the airport, but it was a mistake. And I offer my sincere apology. As the combatant commander, I am fully responsible for this strike and its tragic outcome. While I agree with it, this, this strike certainly did not come up through our standards and I profoundly regret it. I would not qualify the entire operation in those terms. Let me be clear, this was a self-defense strike taken under self-defense rules of engagement based on an imminent threat to attack us. That is not the way that we would strike in an, over, in an OTH mission going into Afghanistan against ISIS-K targets. For one thing, that will not be a self-defense strike. It'll be done under different, uh, it'll be different, done under different rules of engagement. I would reject a parallel between this operation and, a, uh, and an over the horizon strike against an ISIS-K target. Uh, again, because we will have an opportunity to further develop the target in time to look at pattern of life, that time was not available to us because this was imminent threat to our forces. It's important that I emphasize that. We did not have the luxury of time to develop pattern of life and to do a number of other things. We struck under the, under the theory of reasonable certainty. Probably our strikes in Afghanistan going forward will be under a higher standard. That's a policy matter, not a purely military matter. But I don't think you should draw any conclusions about our ability to strike in Afghanistan against ISIS-K targets in the future based on this particular strike. 